only on Christ 17 TV. Back upside your head with another one. Happy Friday. Everybody is everybody waiting for this Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight because I know I am. I know it's going to be some bullshit, but still want to see Mike swing it. But I was, I was looking at some shit and I seen some shit that I just found and hear this. There's a video going around of this, uh, I think he's Mexican, I think he's Mexican. And his family lives across the street from another family. They're both Trump supporters. This Latin man, he uh, voted for Trump. And their kids would always play with each other, right? they play with each other. And after Trump won, the white family, I mean, it's the facts, the white family uh, decided to keep their kids from playing with the Mexican kids. They were like, you can't, you can't play with them anymore. What? I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's usually the way it goes. It's always the white family saying, and if you white people want to dispute me, you can. It's usually the case. Stop playing with those people. You know, racism is taught. And so now the Mexican man and the family's like, oh, there's a video going around. Of the so, okay, let me get this straight. So we got neighbors, Mexican neighbors, white neighbors, their kids play together. Both families voted for Trump. But since Trump won and there's going to be a mass deportation, the white family tells their kids they can't play with the Mexican kids no more. <sighs> See what you get, yo, when you... You deal with racism when you deal with racism. So even though this Mexican man has voted for Trump, like his neighbor, which their kids play, all of a sudden, now the kids, the white kids can't play with the Mexican kids because Trump has a thing against Mexicans. So to be honest, the white family was racist from the gate. And the Mexican guy just got his Mexican wake-up call. Yeah. Trump supporters, a lot of them don't like what they're going to say. Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, black people, Asians. A lot of these guys are pro-white and real racist. But to have your kids that already been friends playing and because Trump wins for you to say your kids can't play with his kids because they're Mexican, that's some bullshit. That is some straight bullshit. Racist is a motherfucker. Bullshit. So how does this Mexican guy feel now about voting for Trump after Trump wins and now the neighbors say, oh, no, 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 you can't play with my kids because you're Mexican. That's some fucked up shit for the kids on both sides. But racism is taught at home. So that guy is automatically, I know he's he's saying some fucked up shit in that white, white household to those kids about why they can't play with their friends from across the street, which happen to be Mexican. Let me tell you something. Okay, me growing up in San Francisco as a, as a kid... For kindergarten and first and second, well, kindergarten and second grade. And growing up in New York for third, fourth, all the way through high school, I went to school with everybody. In my neighborhood, we had every culture you can get. So I was never had that problem of you can't play with this kid because of that. You can't play with that kid because it was, it was... <laughs> A melting pot of different races, different cultures, and everything. I'm curious to know where this happened at. What state? And, I'm, and I want to say this happened in the South. I want to say this happened in the South because it sounds like some South shit. A lot of those Trump supporters are fucking racist as hell. I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of them are just... Fucking racist bigots. I'm not going to lie. You've seen the shit. You've seen it. This is proof. And racism 
is is a lot in the South. They still on them old ways where it was fucked up and foul. And this just shows that this guy was a racist from the gate. Your kids and my kids playing, right? Mexican kids, white kids, black kids, Asian kids, it, it, it don't matter. Two races, different races. And we're neighbors, though. We're, we are neighbors. You live across the street. I live here. And you're going to tell the kids they can't play with each other when both of you guys had Trump signs in your fucking lawn, most fucking likely? That's a bunch of bullshit. Now, I bet you that Mexican man feels real stupid now voting for Trump. <laughs> Got a mass deportation coming. And I don't talk about politics at all. And it's not even really politics. This is just on some racism shit on how this guy, Trump, wins. And now all of a sudden, oh, you can't play with them kids now because they're Mexican. That's a bunch of bullshit. That guy needs his ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? For, for teaching that shit to your children. And for the other Mexican kids now... The father has to explain to those kids why the other neighbor doesn't want them to play with them because of the color of their skin and their race. Which is very sad in 2024 that we still got to deal with assholes and racist people like this. Bigots. Straight bigots. I mean, knock it off. Kids were playing. Kids ain't bothering Nobody, you guys are neighbors. That's what kids in the neighborhood do. They play with the kids who live in the neighborhood. So now all of a sudden Trump wins. These kids can't play because of why. It makes absolutely no fucking sense. If this guy voted for Trump and you voted for Trump, wouldn't that make you guys in the same boat no matter what color you guys were? You guys voted for the same shit? I feel sorry for the Mexican kids. The Mexican dad, I don't feel bad for because <laughs> now you got a wake-up call. Yeah, that's how they really feel. That, that's how they really feel about you, and that's how they really want to treat you. He was never your friend. Behind closed doors, who knows what kind of racist shit he was calling you. And telling his wife, yeah, these motherfucking Mexicans, woody woo woo, whatever. Whatever bullshit came out his racist mouth. But the fact that he, right after Trump wins, and they're talking about a mass deportation of illegals of all kinds from, from Asians to Africans to Haitians to Mexicans to Dominicans to Puerto Ricans to whatever is not supposed to be here. Now this racist bastard, the white guy, which mostly it's always the white family who's the racist fucks. I'm not going to lie to you. It's always the white folks who's always got to be the racist motherfuckers because that's the way they was taught and they and it's taught down generations. And I, I bet you this somewhere, Texas, Oklahoma, some Florida, somewhere like that, where this man is doing this shit to these kids and breaking up a friendship of kids playing who are neighbors because of fucking politics and beliefs, which is really racial beliefs on the white family side. Now, the Mexican family, they think they've been accepted. They might have even thought they wasn't Mexican no more. They were more white. They voting Trump and all that. And you, he got his wake-up call. you still Mexican. Look how that racist white man is treating your family and treating your kids. How do you feel now about your vote? Real, real funny, huh? Doesn't look like it's too funny because this ain't a laughing matter when you bring racism to children. This is fucking bullshit. And that guy needs his ass kicked and I'm not going to lie to you. It's 2024, my man. I know they're trying to make America great again, but in their eyes, 
is bringing back shit like this. Hate, hatred. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. That, that, that's sickening. That's sickening to do that to children. If you don't want to talk to the dad, no more so be it. But what that got to do with your kids outside, my kids outside. So now my kids are not going to be able to play with your kids now because some fucking asshole won the presidency. That's that. It's like we're taking so many steps backwards with this shit, with, with, with this kind of thought. With this kind of thought process by this white family to treat the Mexican family like that. But now, you know where you stand. You're not liked. You probably never was liked. And as soon as he starts talking this mass deportation, give my white kids. You can't play with the Mexican kids. They're not as good as us. That's the type of shit they're preaching in that household. They don't belong here. And all this other negativity you preaching to them little white kids. So now they look at the Mexican kids like they're not as good as them, which is bullshit. You, teaching kids racism at a young age as kids, you don't know. That takes them through their whole life of thinking like that. I'm so glad I was raised the way I was raised I was raised pretty much in the hood. I was the minority. There wasn't white kids running around Bronxwood or Taylor Avenue or the, or the Tenderloin. I was the minority. I had to fight for mines. You know what I'm saying? For my respect, for me to be accepted. <laughs> and this motherfucker is teaching these kids not to like other kids because of the color of their skin or the race. Because of a president saying he's going to do a mass deportation. Trump wins. The But see, this is the part that gets me. I don't know why so many Mexican men voted for Trump. Is it because you don't want a woman or I don't get it. But it's just Trump is not for nobody like Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. Look how they talked about Puerto Ricans in Madison Square Garden, calling the calling the island a floating trash bin, basically. All the racist shit and nobody cares. They say, we still going to vote this motherfucker in. It's crazy, man. And for those... For that family to have to explain that to their kids, I would like to be a fly on the wall and know how that went. I would like to know how that man feels now inside when the white guy told the Mexican family, my kids can't play with you guys no more, with your kids. Ain't that some foul shit? I'm telling you, you never know until you find out. I ain't gonna lie you think you think you know something until somebody lets you know how they really feel. And now it got you all fucked up. Like, I can't believe this motherfucker. We was outside talking politics last month, shaking hands, coming out the house. Hey, neighbor. And now it's like they don't even want to speak to me. My Their kids not even waving at my kids no more. Their kids not even talking to their kids at school no more. That's the type of shit people raise racist children and the racism will never stop. It's recycled, recycled, recycled. Sad story, man. Sad story for for the kids. The racist piece of shit, that's on him. The white guy is a piece of shit. Racist motherfucker. That, the family, bunch of bigots. I'm not going to lie to you. The Mexicans, they fuck around and found out, yeah, you're still Mexican. Just because you voted for Trump and you're hanging out with the white, white, white guys in the neighborhood, they still feel the same way they feel, which is racist towards you. They're going to smile in your face 
backstabbers. Backsta that's a that's a great song. Cause that's what they do and they smile in your face. Hmm. All the time they want to take your place. <laughs> you wanted to be accepted so much. But now when it all came down to it, you're not accepted at all. Matter of fact, they're not e even going to speak to you no more, let alone wave at you, let your friends do anything, talk to you, let their kids play with your kids. It's done with. You pretty much should sell the house and move to a Mexican neighborhood if you want to be accepted. Because you'll never be accepted by those type of people who got that thought process of being fucking racist. That's it. You, you never will. Never. So with that being said, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. And like I tell you, every time around this time, when you fuck around and thought you knew, now you really know. Poor shit, poor kids. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Christ17TV, hit that like, hit that subscribe.